back to the Chan Chan. What's up, guys? If you guys are new to the channel, thank you for clicking. Be sure to subscribe to the Chan Chan. If you guys frequent the channel, welcome back. Guys, I want to say real quick, last video, thank you so much for the support. I ended up getting like 90 likes. Thank you. That helps. I know it doesn't seem like it, but that really helps me grow, helps the channel. So thank you. So this week, I want to do a giveaway so you guys have a chance to win two t-shirts, head and heart t-shirts. Uh, from my clothing company, also a supplement from True Wild. So all you have to do is simply like the video real quick and then comment your favorite activity that you do outside and that's an entry. So whether it's bike, swim, run, whatever it is, go ahead, like, and then comment and boom, and I'll be announcing the winner next week. So, so far, solid morning, woke up, read, which I always do, did my Wim Hof breathing slash meditation. I've been really digging that. I'm gonna link that video that I do. It's just a follow along breathing if you guys wanna check it out. Did some dishes, did my journaling. Had my greens, solid morning. Okay, so let's get into today's video. It's been highly requested that I share my favorite workouts, specifically upper body workouts to stay in shape, lean, whatever you wanna call it, build muscle. I'm excited for today's video, it's gonna be a good one. I wanna keep the intro short and sweet, so be sure to subscribe to the Chan Chan. Go ahead and like it and comment for a chance to win some t-shirts and supplements. Let's go, baby. All right, favorite upper body exercises to stay lean. Uh, I just wanna preface this really quick. I don't wanna be misleading in any way. I don't want you to think that, oh, if I do these exact exercises, it's gonna make me look a certain way. There are many other variables, supplemental exercise, there is diet, there is the actual training program, so like how many sets, volume, all that. So today we're just talking about the movements. However, I do believe that these exercises will help in your training, whatever that is, and it's what I have been doing for as long as I can remember, so I wanna share them with you. Okay, so I thought the coolest way to do this is kind of just talk about each movement, what it is, why I like it, what it targets, and demonstrate the form. So here we go. First one is pull-ups. Obviously, pull-ups are, in my opinion, the best. If I could choose one workout to ever do again, it would just be pull-ups simply because it targets so many muscle groups. I always like to do wide pull-ups. I keep everything very tight. I try not to arch my back and I try to squeeze my glutes, squeeze my quads together and go slow and get full range of motion. So coming all the way up, chin over the bar and then going back down. And the cool thing is with pull-ups, you have so many different variations. So you can do wide grip pull-ups, you can do chin-ups where you flip your hands over and it's targeting more of your bicep. And you can also do narrow grip pull-ups where your hands are shoulder width apart. But pull-ups in general are just super good. They target your core, your lower back muscles, your lats, part of your deltoids, your biceps. So just in general, a pull-up is a very, very powerful movement and definitely one that you should have in your arsenal if you don't already do so. All right, following the trend with uh, very popular workouts is push-ups. Now, push-ups is something I've always done. I always try to crank out 100 to 200 push-ups every other day usually, but again, similar to pull-ups, it targets a lot of things, one being your core, your triceps, your chest, obviously, some rear delt, depending on what variation. You have regular push-ups, you have narrow grip push-ups, which is gonna get more of your inside chest and your triceps, a wide push-up to get the outside of your chest. You have a side-to-side -side push-up, I like to do decline push-ups to get underneath my chest. So similar to pull-ups, a push-up is something that you can, you can kind of go crazy with. There's a ton of variations that you can do. If I want something a little more high intensity, which would be the power push-up where you simply kind of drop down like you're doing a burpee, but you do a full push-up and then you kind of just launch yourself up. This is good, it just gets your heart rate up. It's more of like a hit workout almost. Moving along, sticking with chest. I like to do a single arm chest press. Now, very straightforward, I like to lay back. Starting with both weights up top and then starting with your right arm, you'll go down one arm, holding your left arm in the air, come back up, then left arm down, and then both at the same time. And I find this is just better. It helps me isolate kind of one pectoral muscle at a time and then getting both and it just takes more control. And it, you'll notice with a lot of the movements that I do, I like to do things that are very functional and that include more than just the muscle that you're working itself. For shoulders, there's so many I could have chosen from, but the two that I find I'm doing the most in my workouts would be one, the Arnold press and two, the flies. So starting with the Arnold press, this is pretty simple. I like to do it sitting down. I find I have a little bit more control and it takes that arch out of my back. You start with the weights at 90 degrees right in front of your face and 
and you'll just rotate them up and turn the weights out. So this is getting that front deltoid as well as the side. I've always done these, I love them. And it even gets part of that front pec muscle. So this is a movement I've always done, I love them, and I'll always keep programmed in my workouts. Next up is flies. You can do shoulder flies to the side, so lateral, or you can do front. This is me demonstrating the lateral movement here. So a lot of times you'll see people with two at a time. I like to do one at a time and just grab the edge of something, lean out, and really target that delt that way. I find it, my form is a lot better rather than doing two weights at once. Next up is thrusters. Now I know this isn't really like just an upper body movement solely. There is some legs in this, but it's working large muscle groups, and by working large muscle groups, you're keeping that heart rate elevated so you are in uh, maybe an anaerobic state during your lift and it's good to just have those exercises in your program that get your heart rate up so this is really simple it's just a squat really getting low and then coming up with those weights and raising them above your head it's a great movement you're targeting lower body and then you're also targeting your upper body so shoulders triceps great movement all right so the last upper body muscle group that we're going to talk about is abs i'll do a separate video on like a follow along ab video let me know if you guys want to see that but some of my favorite movements that I like and the ones that I find myself doing the most are gonna be uh, hanging ab raise, flutters, and V-ups. So hanging ab raise, super simple. You just need a pull-up bar, something to hang from. Keep everything in control, keep your core tight, and you just slowly raise your legs up and then bring them back down. And this is super, super good for your core and developing those abdominal muscles. Flutter kicks, a really basic movement, but also a really powerful movement. Um, I like to do them in between sets if I'm working out. I like to just throw them in randomly. Sometimes I'll just do them if I'm cooking dinner, I'll just start doing flutter kicks because it's just so easy. You just simply get down, your legs about six inches off the ground and you just flutter up and down, up and down. And you can do it for time, you can do like 30 seconds or you can do it for reps. So sometimes I'll just do 10 sets of 50 reps of flutter kicks. And again, one of my all time favorites. And then finally is V-ups. These ones are gonna be a little bit more difficult, but same idea, you're gonna have your feet raised off the ground just a tad and then kind of balancing on your butt and then you're going to bring both parts of your body up so you're sort of a hinge in the middle at the waist and you're going to raise your feet up and your upper body up and then come back down so you're making like a little folding V. it's just good for the entire abdominals all right and then finally an exercise that i love this is a lot of upper body some of you guys might not have access to battle ropes but i just got these and i love battle ropes because it's just like super high intensity, it gets the heart rate jacked up, and you're working so much of your biceps, triceps, shoulders, core, everything's tight, you're getting down low, and it's just super good to have. I think it's great if you're doing a workout where it's a lot of just functional, steady state movements. Mixing in battle ropes in between sets is good to get your heart rate up and then go into your pull-ups or push-ups and then take a break and then go back into battle ropes. But battle ropes, again, is super rad because you can do a little movement with the battle rope, you can do doubles, you can kind of just get very creative with it. And again, it's something that just jacks the heart rate up and will essentially help you burn fat because it's an anaerobic activity. So love the battle ropes. If you don't have them, no worries, but wanted to share that with you guys. If you do go to a gym or if you have these at home, uh, definitely recommend using the battle ropes. Also too, I forgot. I do do some one arm supination curls for biceps. So I'm sure you guys know that's like everyone's go-to is like some curls for biceps, but super slow, super controlled, come up and really supinate out. So you get that interior bicep, super good. Also, this is my bike and the bike trainer. I thought I'd film this little section here, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, those are not all, but some of my favorite upper body exercises as well as some high intensity um, movements that I like to do and that I find myself always programming in any workout I do out here or if I were to be outside and program some type of workout, I would find 70% of those movements um, in my workout. So try them out. I'm gonna link them in the description all below so you guys have them, but yeah, give them a shot. Incorporate them in your program. I think they will help tremendously. the next morning this is my new bike trainer by the way i'm in santos right now uh, i know that video is probably different guys but i wanted to switch it up usually it's just all running and biking hope you guys enjoyed that video thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe to the chan chan and uh, look forward to a winner for the t-shirts and the supplements i think that's all i got thanks for watching guys i'll see you on thursday peace